Well, let me let me give you another. Yeah. It just strikes me. Let me give you a yeah, quick yeah. example about the, the maritime law, the law of water, the law of the sea. <clears throat> Money is water by law. So when a ship, uh, this is why all ships are female by law. All ships, rocket ship, sailing ship, air ship, it doesn't matter if it's a ship, it's female. Right. Because the captain always refers to his ship as she. Right. She's a good ship or she's done this. Why she? Because she delivers the product. Right. The Without vessel. she, there is no product, right? It's a vessel. It's a whole of course, thing. It's like of course it like, is a like vessel. So is your body. It's a vessel that produces a product. Right. So when the ship pulls into harbor, uh, it stops and where it parks is called its berth. It's birthing a ship. Uh -huh. Or she sits in her berth. Uh -huh. And every item on that ship, well, coming off that ship, is a money. It's money changing hands. Right. And it came in on water. So it's called, so every piece has to have what is called a certificate of manifest uh -huh. because she is sitting in her birth. That's yep. why when you were born, I had a birth you had, you, your mother's water broke. Uh -huh. you, were in, you were inside a container of water. Her water broke and you came out mm. and therefore you have to have a birth certificate. Wow. There, and it's got to be signed by the dock, because that's where the ship is sitting. The dock is where the ship that sits. That is funny. So once you begin to see how the words and terms are all based on maritime admiralty, the law of water, mm -hmm. the cash flow, the liquid asset. Mm -hmm. you, why, is that just in English, the dock, the water? Yeah, yeah, of course. Mean, but, of course, it language. goes all the way back to the English or British domination of the seas. Oh. And so when the British began to dominate the seas, the Knights Templar Masonic Order of the Knights Templars, who have been in, in, the, in the middle of uh, Asia, mm -hmm. <clears throat> came back into Western Eastern Europe, mm -hmm. brought all of these concepts, and it was developed into a commercial system of mm -hmm. words mm -hmm. and terms and symbols, which are used in courts and government and corporations. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, your body as a corporation. Um, no, that's a whole story. We could talk for hours <laughs> on this. But your body is a corporation. Of cells, you mean? No, no, no. It's called, and by law, your body, your physical body is a corporation. Mm -hmm. And so when you die, you're a corpse. Oh. Because, you're, because when you're living, you're a corporation. You are a business. And hanging out with that person is bad business. Right. Or who I hang out with is none of your business. Right. Because, because, it's because your body is a business. Wow. And so you say, well, you know, what you're doing with with her or him is bad business. Right. But, of course, if you get married and she's very wealthy, you say she's of good stock. <laughs> right? <laughs> Words right. and terms are based on maritime admiralty, the law of water. Mm. And so that's why when you go into a court, you have a fence and a gate. The people yeah. sit out here and the judge sits inside. Mm. The gate is called a flood gate. When you go through the canal, you have a right. flood gate. Right. So when you're sitting out here, you're in the law of the land. The judge has no control or no jurisdiction over the people sitting out here. No uh -huh. jurisdiction whatsoever. Right, because they're but outside the gate. That's outside the gate. Right, right. That's on land. Right. But when you're in the, but when you walk past that gate, now you're in hot water. <laughs> and someone's going to have to bail you out. Bail, yeah. Okay. Bail. It's, that's so, did you write a book about all these men? No, no, I've just been studying them for 48 years. Wow. But it's fascinating because <clears throat> when you understand that there's, I mean, uh, the whole subject is so large and it would take hours to, and I'd have to go back to square one and walk through all the words and terms that are used in law and courts mm. and in and, and commerce. Yeah for you to understand how pervasive this concept of water is on the earth. Wow. The law of water, maritime admiralty, uh, it's an extraordinary story about how governments rule the world. And unless you understand this, mm. you're never going to figure out what's going on. Well, when, look at it. When you walk into a courtroom and they call your name, you get up and you put your hand on the gate. And you open the gate. <clears throat> the moment you put your hand on the gate, by international law, you of your own volition have opened yourself up to maritime admiralty law because you were on the law of the land. As long as you don't touch that gate and go through it, they, you haven't opened the floodgate. Now, once you open the floodgate, there's a piece of wood on top of that gate, mm -hmm. and it's called the bar, and you're not licensed to pass the bar. Right. So what you've done is you've opened the floodgate, but you weren't licensed to pass the bar.
So what does that so mean? So that means that you are dead. You are now dead. Because Once you touch that, you are dead. Because you're no longer in control of That's your... That's right. Of you your are dead. Well, you're considered to be a dead man. Because That's why the attorney has to speak for you. He has to represent why you. Why are you dead? Because, because you went into the deep water and you died. You drowned it. Because you <clears> weren't <throat> licensed. Because you weren't... Um, right. You were not licensed to pass the bar. And the bar represents a sandbar in the ocean. But the bar is what the attorneys are licensed to pass, but you're not. So the point being is that when you open that gate mm -hmm. of your own volition, mm -hmm. you are considered by law to be a dead man. Really? That's why you cannot talk to the judge, because dead people don't talk to judges. So you, so you only need an attorney who is your mouthpiece. He speaks for you because you're dead. Well, should we do away with courts so people can no, get no, their no, lives no. back? I, no, I would think that you, what you want to do is understand how the system works. Oh, and, and avoid it. Really. Uh, well, and avoid it if you can. <laughs>